All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, I'm here in the office. I have Irina next to me. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> so I passed by the office and, uh, and I met uh, Irina and uh, Marius. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to Marius in a second. And Irina, what are you working on? The final touches for the DVCon presentation. All right, so Irina will be in December with, uh, with Marius and Matorks. They will present at DVCon. Uh, what will you present at DVCon? So in the first part, we're going to talk about the MathWorks ecosystem and about the model-based design workflow that allows you to verify and validate applications all the way from the requirements definition phase through the deployment of the code on an actual target. So MathWorks provides an ecosystem of requirements, import tools that allow you to uh, import requirements in a model and to verify that all the requirements have been covered by your design. So you can test your model from this point of view, okay. from the beginning, right? And then from your model, you can test its functionality and validate it in simulation, so in a hardware-independent area. Uh, you can also test functionalities of the model at a more detailed level, and you can test independent subsystems, provide test inputs, compare the outputs with ranges maybe, or with some thresholds, and uh, then you can integrate this small piece into the uh, complete design of, of your application. So you have this opportunity to test and uh, integrate and validate at every step of the application uh, development process. All right, so if somebody is using MATLAB and Simulink environment, okay, they can do from requirements to deployment on the target, all the development in, uh, in this uh, environment, in this ecosystem, exactly. yeah. and there are ways to split the work between multiple engineers, there are ways to integrate afterwards the work, to test yes, at every yes. phase. Th this enhances this. the collaboration between different teams that are maybe so specialized on different areas. So, yeah. So you can decompose a large application exactly. into pieces, work on them yeah. separately, integrate them, yeah. verify them at each step in simulation. Exactly. Before. And you can also generate code for them, and this code can be compared if it behaves exactly like the model or if it doesn't, yeah. so certain adjustments can be made in that uh, stage as well. All right, there, are, there is a, right. there is a, a, a buzzword lately on, on this topic, right? CI, yeah. CD, CV, continue. continuous integration, <laughs> continuous development, and continuous verification. Yes. So, if one wants to see how is that done in MATLAB and Simulink, and which are the tools that this ecosystem provides, that that will be presented, and you will yes. show how that can work with our toolbox we yes, develop in where our exactly team toolbox. our toolbox integrates into this story and our model based design toolbox comes as a gateway between this mathworks ecosystem and the hardware aware ecosystem which is nxp's set of drivers and tools and all that kind of stuff that we provide for our microcontrollers um, so by using such tool that links the two worlds, let's say, uh, you can leverage features such as simulation, automatic code generation, verification and validation yeah. in the context of embedded systems design. All right. And you will explain together with MathWorks, there will be an engineer from MathWorks to yes. explain the, the system and then you will show our toolbox integrating in this. And it will be all shown with an example, and we're going to have Marius. <laughs> Marius yeah, is here next yeah, yeah, to yeah. us. We'll, we'll talk to him. Yeah, Marius, Marius will, will explain everything that I have talked about, like with an a very example. high level. Yeah, with an actual example. That is going to be very interesting to find out. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll talk to Marius. Uh, so, uh, December 6th, right? December 6th, uh, first presentation in the morning at 10 a.m. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> we, we'll, we invite you to see. Irina and uh, Marius and uh, the engineers from MathWorks and the other collaborators we have at, at this session and, and learn out more about how you can work smart and fast, uh, take advantage of all these new solutions and trends to, to integrate and have development done uh, smart and fast. Let, let's, let's talk to Marius. I'll, I'll go yeah, talk to Marius. That's Marius a good is, idea. Uh, <laughs> is, is, is next. Uh, okay. Is the next thing. Thank Irina, you. good luck there. Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to go talk to Marius. It's a, uh, it's here. Marius is already a little classic. <laughs> he has the 
the battery management system application. We already show it. Maris, let's see. Hi, how, Daniel. How Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, Hello. let me work a little bit on this. Okay, now we're, now we're set. So, Marius, uh, you're already a classic, <laughs> as I said. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's talk to Marius a little bit and, and see how, what are you going to explain there at, uh, at uh, DiviCon? How, how will you show all these concepts that I talked to, to Irina? Well, first of all, uh, we are going to be to, to, to show all these uh, nice features that was providing in its, uh, in its ecosystem um, using the high voltage battery management system reference design that NXP provides in order to help its customers to speed up their, their development of the battery management systems uh, uh, prototypes and, and uh, their, uh, their yeah. devices. Can, can you quickly describe a little bit the setup you have here on the table and how how this will work and uh, show it? Sure, so let's start uh, with the uh, battery management unit. Uh, this, is, um, um, uh, this is a board uh, consisting of an automotive grade microcontroller. Uh, this is the brain of the, the battery management system and uh, one of the major important tasks happening here is the um, state of charge estimation for the um, battery module. Um, here we have the cell monitoring unit, which is um, uh, basically a device able to measure all the voltages for a, for a, for a battery cell or the uh, temperatures and um, um, apply some balancing commands. And uh, here we have the battery junction box, which basically measures the current for the entire system. So, um, in order to, let's say, quickly test our generated code for, uh, for this system, we are using this uh, emulator consisting of uh, potentiometers um, and with these potentiometers we can um, let's say set some some cell uh, um, voltages values right uh, we can drive our system uh, for example in a low voltage or in a high voltage uh, easy and um, in the same time in uh, let's say we, we keep everything safe all right so the problem with the with battery management system is that it's it's very hard to estimate the state of charge precisely, mm -hmm. right? Um, you cannot measure directly just a voltage or or, or um, a current because you need to estimate kind of this. You need to compute the 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 state of charge, taking in, into consideration some parameters. Mm -hmm. And this setup we already explained in our previous video at Tech Days, right? And we yes. invite you to check that video. We'll, we'll let the link down. So in, in this setup, you know how to uh, emulate the behavior of a battery with these potentiometers and how to record it into an application. We talked about Freemaster last time mm -hmm. and we talked about uh, our model-based design uh, solution here. What do you bring new, right? There is, there is still a problem. We, we know how to measure everything, mm -hmm. which is great, and we, and we have all this solution, but you need to make sure that the input is correct and that what you measure is actually the real thing. How, how do you fix that problem or how, what well, would be a solution for that? Well, for this, uh, basically we can replace the emulator we uh, I've just described here um, with another device. Um, uh, so that we could be more precise on the voltages that we apply to our cell monitoring uh, unit so that we can test how our algorithm behaves um, on that particular uh, input and if the state of charge, for example, is correct. So th this will be the new thing you, you, you're going to show, right? How, exactly. how this device can be replaced by an emulator which in injects known values for the voltages where you can control and emulate the voltages and and, the, and this device will be uh, shown and provided by uh, some partners we have right speedgoat yes in particular and they will come and, and explain how, how such a system could could work right yes in our third part of the presentation speedgoat is going to to show uh, show us how you can you can provide such values to our um, cell uh, monitoring unit. And by the way, this technique is called hardware in the loop. Okay. So, um, yeah, basically out of this um, Simulink uh, model, you can generate multiple um, uh, multiple pieces, let's say, let's call them like this. The BMS software here can be run on our uh, battery management unit and uh, we could um, um, use this kind of plan model on the device that Speedco is going to show. Um, so that we could um, test our prototype. So we're going to show in simulation, 
right? How how the battery behaves in simulation. This is purely done on the PC, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need any device. We will show how our solution works mm -hmm. in, in capturing the v values of the voltages, computing them and displaying them. Mm -hmm. And additionally, we will have an emulator to inject the, the values. Mm -hmm. We will know the values because we put them with this emulator and we will verify that actually our model is accurate and what we read and what we compute is, is correct. So you're going to show this, this, this whole, this whole solution, right? Yes. All these uh, steps, uh, let's uh, call them like this. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we start with the model in the loop, as you, as you said, we continue with software in the loop, uh, which basically generates C code of the, out of the simulating model. Then we go with processor in the loop. When you, when we run this kind of algorithms directly on our processors, you don't need to have the high voltage uh, battery management unit. You can run that uh, software in the loop on um, no. evaluation boards, right? All right? And later on, we are going to, in, to, to show and how to to integrate all these uh, devices for the hardware in the loop. Okay, so hardware in the loop, software in the loop, processor in the loop, <laughs> uh, model in model the loop in the, the beginning. I took it. I took it re in reverse, right? It starts with the model, the flow, and ends up with the hardware in the loop as a potential. If you want to test the real batteries, can 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 we do that? It's like if there is a fire hazard. This is why we use these emulators and so on. But did you try to to use a real battery? Uh, you know, like to to see a system like this really working? Well. Working from home lets you to do some 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 things as well. So yes, we've uh, I've connected some some batteries to the uh, cell monitoring unit, and uh, um, also we have a, a nice demo showing how you can build up a charger. But being in inside the office, right? Being in the office, you yeah, don't we... need to 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 bring real batteries to the to the setup. Instead, you could uh, simulate everything in, in Simulink. Um, by the way, in 2022B, Matos okay. provides the Simscape battery uh, so that you could have dedicated blocks to, to just insert in your model to specify the parameters for the batteries and you're ready to test your, your, your design uh, directly in simulation. All right, so there is a battery emulated in Simscape. Mm -hmm. uh, you could you could have done it before, but you had to kind of build it out of uh, components. But now there is a, a model for battery in Simscape, and, and that can be used. And you're going to show show that also, right? How how it works and yes. how people can do at home uh, simulation. They don't need to have these uh, these uh, things, you know, physically to to try the same algorithms. Good. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We have. Uh, a party of three, right? So it's Matorx, NXP, and Speedgoat. Yes. Uh, we're going to show, start with the process and how you can go from requirements to deployment in a very organized way with those, this continuous integration, continuous development, and continuous verification at each step. You're going to show the example, and Speedgoat is going to show how an emulator can be used to, to provide the, the input for this, all this setup and how we can verify actually the setup works fine in, in having a, a known input. It will be a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> it will. All right, so the session again, it's on? 6th uh, and 7th of, of December. We are going to present first on uh, 6th uh, December at uh, 10 a.m. All right, so we invite you all to come see our products to see how, how all these things work together. Uh, join Marius, join Irina and the, the engineers from Matworks and Speedgoat so that uh, you, you can learn how, how such a, such a uh, solution is put in place. Thank you all for your time and we invite you there, right? Thank you, see you there.